Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Okay, so for the legs, we are going to start by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. Now, in the second round, we are going to do to increase every stitch around. So we'll have twelve stitches. Okay, so increase. first stitch increase the second stitch and increase the third stitch increase fourth stitch Increase the fifth stitch and increase the last stitch. Okay, so now um, in the next three rounds, which is round three until round five, we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row. For a total of uh, 12 stitches in each round okay so do single crochets in this round until you get to round five and then we'll do the sixth round together okay so after the fifth row this is how our little leg looks like okay so now in the sixth row we are going to decrease and we'll do two single crochets then decrease and we we'll repeat that three times so we'll have nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease and then we'll repeat that again two more times so two single crochets And decrease and again two single crochets and decrease okay so now after we are done with that now for the next four rows which is from round seven until the tenth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of nine single crochets in each round okay so as we continue make sure you start stuffing and then i'll see you when you're done with the tenth round so that we finish up together Okay, so after the 10th round, this is how your leg looks like. So make sure you feel all the way to the top. Just uh, just uh, make sure there's a little bit of space remaining here uh, for sewing it to the body. Okay, and then now to finish up, we are going to go into the next stitch, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay. So now we are going to start making the uh, okay so for the arms we are going to start with six single crochets in the magic ring uh, just like the way we did with all the other parts so I already did that so now in the second round we are going to do single crochet then increase and we'll do that three times for a total of nine stitches 
so we'll do single crochet then increase and repeat that single crochet and increase and do that again one more time single crochet and increase Okay, so now in the third and the fourth round, we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of nine stitches. Do so, do single crochet in this round, which is the third round, and the next round, which is the fourth round, and then we'll do the fifth round together. Okay, so after the fourth round, this is how our little arm looks, not, uh, looks like. Okay, so now in the fifth round, uh, we are going to do single crochet, then decrease, and we'll do that three times for a total of six stitches. So we are not going to stuff the arm, we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, so we'll do single crochet, and then decrease. and repeat single crochet decrease and single crochet then decrease Okay, so now for the next two rounds, which is round six and round seven, we are going to do single crochets all the way around. So we'll have a total of six stitches in each round. So do single crochets in this round and the next round. And then I'll see you when you're done with the seventh round so that we finish up together. Okay, so when we are done with the seventh round, we're just going to go into the next stitch, then we'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so now we are going to start making the tail. Okay, so for the tail, uh, we're going to start by doing the magic ring and then we'll do four single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then I'll pull my yarn. like that okay so now in the second round we are going to do single crochet then increase and then we'll do that we'll repeat that again so we'll have six stitches so we'll do single crochet and increase in the next stitch And then we'll repeat that again so single crochet and increase okay so I'm just going to push my work like that ok 
Okay. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase and we'll do that two times. So we'll have a total of eight stitches. So we'll do single crochet. One, then single crochet, two, and increase and then repeat that again so single crochet one single crochet two and increase Okay, so now in the uh, fourth round, we are going to do three single crochets, then increase, and we'll do that two times for a total of 10 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, and then increase. And then we'll repeat that again. So three single crochets. And increase. Okay, so now in the fifth round, we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat that again so we'll have 12 stitches so we'll do four single crochets and increase And repeat so for a single crochet and increase. Okay, so now in the sixth round, which is the last round of the tail, we are going to do five single crochets, then increase, and we'll repeat that again one time. So we'll have 14 stitches. So we'll do five single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, and increase. And repeat five single crochets. and increase okay and then i'll remove my marker and slip stitch in the next stitch 
and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so that is our little tail this is how it looks like so we'll just attach it to the body somewhere like that okay okay so these are all the body parts so we have the tail the body then we have two arms and two legs like that then we have the head okay so we're going to join all these parts together and then we'll do the finishing okay so guys i've done putting all the parts together as you can see so i first attach the body uh, and the head okay so as you can see the part where we finished up at is at the back and uh, for the body i attached it at one two three four five from the fifth row from the back of the head as you can see so we have to have uh, the front part protruding okay and for the arms i attach them directly from the body here which is the first row until the third row and the same with this other one like that and uh for the legs i i counted from below here one two three four from the fourth row from the bottom that's where you attach the leg and on this other side so they all have to be in line the arms and the legs and on this other side and for my little tail i first of all stuffed a little bit then i attached it one two from the second row from the bottom like that until here at the back so i used uh just a needle uh yarn needle to attach all the parts as you can see but if you have a fabric glue i guess you can use that and then i embroidered my eyes over here one two three four uh from the fifth row uh, and the sixth row that's why I embroidered the eyes and on this other side. But if you have the doll eyes, you can just attach them over there. Okay, so now we are going to make the spikes here going downwards. And I'll show you how. So what we'll do is we'll start, we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six here seven and on the seventh row from the back of the head is where we'll attach our yarn oh i think we can move a little bit maybe over here yeah at the eighth row and we have to make sure it's at the center of the head so this is my center i'm just going to place my yarn over there like that and then i'll do a chain three so i'll do chain one two and three okay and then i'll skip this uh one uh, row over here go to the next row and then i'll slip stitch just going to slip stitch like that as you can see and then i'll continue do again a chain three one two three skip the next row and then go here and slip stitch And I'll continue doing that until the end. So chain three, one, two, three, and skip one row and slip stitch.
over here okay do again chain three one two three skip one row and slip stitch over here and you continue repeating that until you get here at the end of the tail okay so guys after finishing the spikes this is how our little dinosaur looks like so cute so if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and i really appreciate your feedback so and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye